What's up YouTube? You're checking out the Frequent Flyer and I'm outdoors with the Revell Hexagon Nano Hexacopter Brand new. We're going to check this thing out Take it for a night flight Let's go straight to high rates now, I did check this thing out and compare it to the uh, MJX X900, and the dimensions are the same. Exact same dimensions, so they're the same size. I checked the weight. They both weigh the same amount. They both weigh about 10 grams. So, pretty evenly matched. And this thing flies nice. Pretty nice night flyer. Definitely a night flyer. Blue LEDs in the front can be seen easily. Green on the sides, red in the back. So awesome color scheme with the LED implementation. Let's check out the yaw rate and funnels. The yaw rate appears to be a tiny bit better than the yaw rate on the MJX 900 and the pitch is just about as good so it does what appears to be tighter funnels let's see those are the funnels there a little wind blowing that way so that's why it's flying that way I am at full battery so we're going to see actual flight times with aggressive flight with this pretty nice flyer seems to be a little stronger than the uh, X900 as far as uh, fast forward flight it takes less throttle to keep it up in the air Check out flips with it. Wow, it flips really fast. Really nice, tight flips. Definitely flips better than the X900. Funnels are a little, little tighter. Pitch appears to be just about the same. Okay, I'm back out here again with the Ravel Hexagon Nano Hexacopter. And I had gotten a flash flood warning alarm on my phone and that stopped the recording and uh then it started to rain so i just charged the battery up again and we're at full battery again and we're back out here again um so we're gonna see uh what time what kind of flight times we get with it uh earlier i flew it all the way to lvc but the recording had stopped from the flash flood warning alarm on my phone so this thing is a really awesome flyer the wind has picked up though and it's drizzling out here a little if it starts pouring down uh, that's going to end our night flight <laughs> as of now it's just drizzling i think we can handle a light drizzle in this breeze here so we also got a factor that Take that into consideration with the flight time with it. Uh, because it is fighting stronger winds. And it's a light drift. The wind seems to be picking up too. This thing is an awesome flyer though. In case you can't tell. <laughs> Try some uh, flips with it. So it flips awesome. Nice tight flips on it. The yaw rate might be a little better than the X900. You can see, um, and the pitch appears to be almost the same as the X900. 
probably the same amount of pitch on it. But it seems to have more power than the X900. Oh, that was a strong gust of wind there. <laughs> This thing is a strong flyer. I really like the way this thing flies. The LED lighting is uh, really nice for night flying. Definitely a night flyer. I don't know if it's translating well on video, but the green lights on the side of this little hexagon is awesome. The green lights shine really bright. The blue lights in the front are visible as well. The red lights are pretty visible as well. All of the lights are bright on this thing. Really bright LEDs. Ooh, dark horse tree trying to suck me in there. <laughs> the speed run, this thing is fast. I also have the black and yellow version of this. The same except for the color scheme is different, has different props, different color props. I might mix and match the props. Okay, we're at LVC finally now. When I was flying it before it, I had reached LVC and it's a pretty nice LVC. So I'm gonna fly it around a little bit and let you guys see how much of a nice LVC it is. And then I'll try to land it in my hand before it drops <laughs> so as you can see pretty uh, substantial LVC a lot of time to get it back to yourself when you're flying it so that's it the Ravel Hexagon Nano Hexacopter. Thanks for watching. Still some time left. For some funnels. Okay, that's bringing it.